Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Opera again. Welcome back. So today we are going to do a little bit of a bigger project. It's probably the biggest project I've set out to do so far. And we're going to be using some recycled items. So we are going to make um, a can holder, a, tin can, a holder out of a tin can. Um, so I have a tin can that I've taken the uh, paper off the outside. I'm also using two lids from milk cartons. You don't need to have them, but if you can find a couple lids from something, it could be from a Gatorade bottle, or even maybe your parents have medicine aspirin lids or aspirin that is finished, they can take the lids off. I do have two googly eyes, which I happen to have, probably because I'm an art teacher. If you don't have googly eyes, that's okay. Well, I'll show you different options. Um, I have a piece of material. Um, it I used to cover um, cover some pillows. So when you need a piece of material that's a bit bigger. You could also use felt. This is felt from the dollar store. It comes in squares. If you don't have felt or a piece of material, um, you may want to use old socks. You can cut them up and use them for material. I know how much everybody loves using socks to wipe the whiteboards in class. Um, or maybe an old shirt you could cut up um, because this is going to give us the most definition for our art. So you do need a piece of material. I guess you could use construction paper too as well. So if you don't have material at all, you can use construction paper or a piece of paper that you paint and you can cut it out the same way as I would the material. We are going to do a bit of glitter. I am a glitter person. I know some families are not glitter families, and that's just all right as well. You can decorate with something else. Um, scissors, uh, white glue. I'm going to try to use this for my main part of attaching everything because this is something you may have. You may also use a glue stick. And I also won't lie, I have my glue gun ready as well because I may need to use that for the eyes. You can tell my glue gun is very well used. If you have a glue gun in the house, then please, 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 you need to ask your parents or whoever's um, with you at home to um, for permission. And if they say no, then they say no, and that's quite all right. You can, um, I'll give you other options. Okay, so, um, but if you do have a glue gun, then maybe somebody to help you use it. Uh, or maybe you're a glue gun wizard and um, that would probably come handy in today as well. I might have to break the video up into a couple parts because um, it could get a little bit long uh, with just one video. So uh, bear with me. If you're wondering what we're making, it doesn't quite fit with everything in the way, we're making owl tin can holders. <laughs> My glue fell off. So you can tell from the owls in the pictures that um, they used felt and they also used yarn around the inside. They used two lids for eyes, they used two googly eyes, uh, another piece of felt for the nose, um, and that's basically it. There's some glitter lines there as well. So I'm going to make something similar to this with you today. Alright, so I'm going to put that aside and move some things out of the way and we will get started. So I have my tin can that I've cleaned up and I have my material. Now your material needs to come in almost all the way around. If your material isn't big enough for that, that's quite all right. You can always cut two pieces, okay? Um, I'm going to turn it this way because my material is too wide. So I'm going to line up the bottom of my can with one edge and I'm just going to roll and make a line. A bit hard to see maybe. And it's just a cutting line. Not perfect, but you can kind of see where I need to cut so that the material is the right height. And remember we're recycling, we're using scraps of you could be using just paper and doing what I'm doing. Construction paper or white paper. You can see I've got glue stuck to my hands everywhere. So now we wrap it around and it does fit. Okay, which is great. But this is a little bit too long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this edge and I'm going to just sit it on top of the can like that. 
and the other edge will fall that way. And here I'm going to draw a curve. If you have a white pencil crayon, it's easier to see with a white. Okay, so I'll take my can away. I can always finish my curve there. So that's the curve of one wing. So I'm going to cut it off. So we're doing the front. This is the front part of the tin can. And this is the shape of one of the wings as it wraps itself around the tin can. So if I look, you can see how it's wrapping itself around. Now this material is too big, but it's almost the right length. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fold it in half, and then I'm gonna trace that curve, okay? And then I'm just going to move it and I'm going to cut again. So trying to create the curve of the second wing of our owl. So now we've got a piece of paper, paper or material that will wrap around your can and creates two wings. Now, this is actually not perfect, okay? So um, my uh, wings are actually coming a little bit too close. We want some distance in between your wings, like that, so you can see the bird's tummy. So all I'm gonna do is, I'm not gonna draw a line this time, but I'm just gonna cut, follow that same shape, but I'm gonna cut a little bit off. And I'll save that, maybe I can use it for something else. Okay, so again, we still have similar shapes. They're not perfect or exact, a little bit different. Whoops, but the wings are a bit different too. So there we go, that's a little bit better. So now we've got the body of the bird. Okay, and again, you can use paper, um, different kinds of material, felt. I'm not gonna quite use that yet because around the center of the bird, This is the chest of the bird. So they wound uh, yarn around the tin can. I don't have any yarn. Well, I'm not a knitter or crocheter. So um, what I'm gonna do is I have scraps of felt. And I also have ribbon that I used from Christmas decorations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this ribbon around and you might need a friend to help you you can see I've wrapped it around three times and then I'm just going to tie it in a knot if you don't have a ribbon um, you could use a piece of string if you have yarn you could wrap yarn around if you have uh, nothing then you could just color the inside Okay, with Sharpies. Um, I'm gonna cut this a little bit off. So just don't have to cut that much. So you can decide whether you're gonna use that as the front or the back. I'm not all that crazy about it. I think it does need a little bit more. So I have some yarn, or not yarn, some leftover felt from a different project. Okay. And I actually think that's going to be the back. I don't want the bow. Let's turn it a little bit. Let's see what it looks like this way. That looks pretty good. But I'm going to add some pieces of felt and I'm just going to add it with glue. So my first time using glue.
There's another piece. Let's get some green. And it doesn't have to go all the way around because the material from the bird's wings will wrap around it. So a little more glue on here. See? It's just giving a little more dimension to the bird's stomach. So let's see what it looks like now. There we go, a little bit better. Okay, so from here, I'm happy with that. It gives some texture to the bird's stomach. If you wanted to use a Sharpie to color it in, you can certainly do that, or you can wait till the end and decide. But now what we're gonna do is we're going to glue on the bird's body. Okay, so you can tell this is the shape of the wing. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Actually, I'm gonna stop and then we'll do that in the next video. So I'm gonna stop here because it's a pretty big video. Um, and when you come back, we're going to glue on the body and the eyes and our bird will almost be done. Okay, so see you in part two. Yeehaw!